Hey guys, welcome back to Cheryl Case Cooking Diaries. This evening, we are going to put together a vegetable tray, but it's going to have a little bit of uh, meat, a little bit of cheese put in it that I'm making up for my husband and I, and I think it'll be very good. So give me a minute and I'm going to show you everything that I put into mine. Okay, y'all, here we go. All right, first of all, I've already put some carrots um, into this uh, tray. And, um, cause, but I'm not going to put a whole lot of stuff in here because I don't want it to go bad um, before we can eat it. So I've done washed some baby carrots and I have trimmed, or I mean, I have sliced off some of the ends, you know, where they look kind of dark on the ends. And um, so I have done that already. And this, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to the side until we need it here in just a minute. And I take, I'm going to take some fresh broccoli. And what I'm going to do, I'm not going to use this whole thing of broccoli because that will be way too much. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going to cut this end off down here because it's just going to be pieces of it anyway, and we don't want that big stalk anyway on it. Okay. So, um, I'm just, like I said, I'm just going to pull some pieces off and that's going to break them off right now. And actually it might even be easier if I go ahead and trim the rest of this off. So let me, oops. So I'm just going to pull these apart like this. So what I'm going to do, like I said, I'm not going to use all this broccoli. So I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a baggie so this will stay fresher. This is a freezer bag. And I'm going to take some of these, and I'm just going to put them in the bag, because we're not going to use all these, like I said. Oops. They'll stay a whole lot fresher, guys, if you put them in a, maybe like a freezer bag. They seem to stay a lot fresher, but I'm going to cut some of this stem off, some of these. And then I'm just going to leave out like that one, maybe that one, and this big one. And we're going to cut that up and we're going to see how much that um, gives us. And then if it, if it don't, I can always get more of these out. But I'm going to squeeze the air out of these and zip it up. And that way I've got them in a um, freezer bag so I can put them in my refrigerator and they'll stay fresh a whole lot longer than they will in one of those little bags that you get from the grocery store. All right, so let's, uh, I'm going to wash these off. Let me get this and throw this away. And um, I'm going to go ahead and just trim the ends of these and take some of this off. Everybody's different in how they like their, um, their broccoli done. But we prefer more the crown. So, I've got a strainer over here, and I'm just going to put them in there. But, um, I'm just going to slice this one in half. That way, we can just pick them up and, and dip them a little bit. So, they're going to be a little smaller, but let's cut some of the ends off of these. There we go. And just dip it in there. Got a little white on there. I'm going to take that off a little bit. All right. And let me do this one. Let me get it to about here. And then I'm going to cut this one in two because that's how we like ours, guys. But you can do yours any way you want to when you uh, cut this. But I, I try to cut some of that white off of them. So, and when I rinse them off, some of it might come off a little bit, but that's okay. All right, because we don't want to eat a lot of that stem, especially, you know, if we're not, we're not cooking it. So, we're just dipping it and eating it that way. I'm going to pull those apart, too. And if some of them look too small, it's all right. And then I'm going to cut this one in half, but I think what we'll do is I'm going to leave... Let's see. Well, it's still a little too big. I'm just cutting it down, y'all. That's all I'm doing. And like I said, I take a little bit of this white off. So that'd be fine to dip. 
Let me get this off. So that's all you do if you want to take a little bit of that white. See how that white is on that broccoli right there? I don't leave that on usually. I just sort of cut it off a little bit. So, all right. Let's see. There's a little bit more on this one too. So, let me get this off here a little bit. I'm just trimming this white off, y'all. I mean, now, let's see, we're down to the last piece. Cut off about there. Cut that right off. Break this out in half. So we've got our broccoli in our strainer, and it looks like it's going to be plenty, and if it's too much, I'll just put some away. So let me get this throat away, y'all. What I'm going to do... I'm going to tell you, if you don't have one of these little things, this is a pastry cutter. You already get one because they come in so handy to, um, you know, rake up your, your stuff that you have laying on your cutting board or, I guess, your counter or whatever. I love them. So, I won't be doing without one of these because they come in, like I said, they come in so handy. What I'm going to do pull my trash can over to here and I'm just gonna see there I took all of that off of my cutting board and I didn't have to worry about that so those are a blessing so let me show you what I got here I'm gonna take this broccoli that we just cut up and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and then when I'm done rinsing it off I'll be back and we'll put it uh, put it in the platter and get it put um, get the rest of it put together. So I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys, here we go. I've taken a paper towel and kind of lightly blotted this off a little bit, so it wouldn't be real wet when I put it on that platter. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and get my platter again, and we're gonna go ahead and start putting this on here. Pick my broccoli up, oops, and then I'm going to put my platter over here, guys. I'm going to put my broccoli over here to the side, if you can see. Okay, so let's go ahead and start putting this on there. Now, I might need a little knife. Depends on how I think it looks to, you know, to pick it up to eat or if there's too much stock. So let's look here and see. I think that is about right, about like that, guys. That's how I do it. So we're going to put some in here. So I'm going to look at it as I go. And if it's too big, all I'm going to do is just cut it. That's all you got to do. This one looks like it might be just a little too big. All right. Yeah, I had some of these a little too long, y'all. So I'm just cutting them as I go, as you see. All right. I didn't measure this. I don't really know how much this is. So there we go. We got just about done, y'all, with this. And you know, guys, this doesn't take long, and it's so healthy for you if you're a veggie lover. And I like some veggies, but now broccoli isn't one of my favorite. Now, I'm going to be honest. It's just not. Now, I've eaten it over a potato, put, you know, broccoli over a potato with some cheese. Now, that's good. You know, I don't mind it like that, but just to eat it like this with dip, I'm not too big of a fan. But my husband loves it. He loves any kind of vegetable. Just something to have, you know, for later on if you want to watch a movie or, or uh, something like that. And, and you just want something to snack on, but... Something a little more on the healthier side. This would be a great option and, and a good little thing to make up. And it looks pretty uh, making them. And they're easy. They're very easy. All right, there we go, guys. We've got our broccoli on there now. And it's already starting to look pretty, I think. With our carrots. Okay. So let's go ahead and move on to the next veggie. And the next edgy that we're going to put here is going to be cauliflower. So, let me get my cauliflower. And it's going to have to be put into a bag. And this time, I'm more than likely going to have to use a gallon size bag for this, like I do my lettuce. So, let's get this opened. 
All right. Lord have mercy. They don't want you to get into that. Okay. So let's start. Let me get my trash can a cut down into this cauliflower. And if it falls out, that's not a big deal. And I'm going to get rid of this big core. See there? See how I got rid of that? And the cauliflower just opens right up. So that's the really the easiest way to uh, get rid of the core from the cauliflower. And just toss that and finish just picking up your, your green and just throw it away or any bad some of the spots on the cauliflower, if it looks bad, just go ahead and toss it. Hold this over my can, so I'll let it fall out of there. All right. So we've got that. So what I'm going to do, I'm kind of looking here to see what I think I might want out of this. Those need to be trimmed off. These little places that you see on the cauliflower like that, you need to kind of get rid of those because it just keeps spreading. So I just kind of trim them off like this. And I know they keep spreading. So just, just trim them off. It's not going to hurt anything. That way those aren't on there because that's kind of like a little bad spot that's on your cauliflower. But you can just shave that right off with a knife. And you don't have to go deep with it. Just go right on the... Um, just go right on the top layer and just shave that off. That's all you got to do. All right. So let me get my mess cleaned up here because cauliflower can be a mess at times. So get this in a pile. And I'm going to scrape this up and toss it in my can. That way I ain't got to worry about it. Making a mess. All right, we're gonna move this over. Let's see if we got anything over here we need to get cleaned up. So let's see. I think I'll use these pieces. Cauliflower comes off pretty easy, guys. So I'm just gonna cut it in half and then. Um, Kind of pull it apart. It's kind of like broccoli. I mean, in a way, same thing. But, you know, if you don't, of course, if you want big pieces like that, you can do that. But we don't. So I'm going to just cut this apart. In fact, like I did the broccoli. I'm going to start putting these over in my strainer. See there, it just pulls right off. Try not to get a bunch of loose pieces, but. There's another one. There's another one. You can use your hand, pull them apart, cut them apart, whatever you want to do with them, y'all. And there's some more, but them has to be trimmed a little. I think this is going to be enough, guys, because I've already got that much cauliflower in my um, strainer. So I'm going to rinse this off. But this right here, I'm going to put in a bag. So like I told Okay, guys, let's start putting our cauliflower in this gallon size freezer bag. I See, I use the freezer bags instead of the storage because I just think the freezer bags keep it a lot fresher than the storage bags do because they are thicker. So that's why I don't, you know, I didn't mention a storage bag. A lot of people use storage, but I, I just don't. All right. So I've got it in the bag. So I'm going to squeeze the air out best I can. I'm going to seal this. And I'm going to show you all a little trick here. Y'all's going to think I'm crazy, but I'm going to show you a little trick. Now, this is what I do with my lettuce when I get my lettuce in a gallon bag because that's what it has to go in. And y'all, some of y'all may already know how to do this. And it looks strange, but trust me, it really helps. All right. So, when you squeeze the air out of your bag, right, like I just did when I had it turned over this way, what you do is you open an end up at the end of your bag, but not a whole lot, just enough to get a straw in the end of your bag. If you've got a smaller straw, you can use that too, but this is what I had quick and handy. 
All right, so I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to stick it down about halfway inside the bag. All right. Push it over to the side. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zip it up against the straw. I want to make sure it's zipped up against that straw, guys, just like this at the end. And then what you're going to do is you're going to bend down, and you're going to suck all this air out of your bag. And when you get it all sucked out and it looks like the bag is um, kind of drawn up tight against your cauliflower, that's when you pull the straw out and you close that bag up really quick. So that's what I'm getting ready to do. All right, here we go, guys. So, all right. See there how I done that? And I sealed it up as quick as I could good as a machine so that that will help keep it even fresher because all the air <laughs> is sucked out of the bag i know it looks strange but it really works guys it really does so um now let me i'm gonna tell you now you can't do that to meat so please do not try to do that with meat that is something you cannot do this with so um so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put this in the refrigerator clean this little mess up and then I'm gonna bring you back and then we're gonna do the celery so I'll be back because I have forgot to put the cauliflower in this tray so I thought I better bring you all back so we can do that this cauliflower had been washed and um, as you all know I told you to put it in my strainer so now what I'm doing is I'm just putting it in this tray just get you know get it in there whatever however way you can I probably got a little bit more than I probably needed but that's all right. So this right here I'll take and I'll put it away for when we need it. So I'm just going to lay this down over here. And then in a minute I'll put it in a little snack bag and then we can eat it when we want it. Because I got a little bit too much. So anyway, I'm going to get the celery out now. And then as soon as I get that out, I'll be right back, y'all. Okay, guys, here we go. So I've got the celery. I'm going to take it out of the bag, but I may need that again, so, because I think it'd be too bad, big to go in a gallon, I don't know, well, probably won't when I get it all cut down. Okay, what I'm going to do with the celery, guys, is I'm going to take me a knife, this is the way I do it, but I'm going to take me a knife, and I'm going to start above where that, some of them dark spots is at the bottom of the stalk here, about right, about right here. And I'm going to cut it, okay? And it will fall apart, and you can get rid of this end, okay? And then what you can do is, is get it apart. It comes right apart, very, very easy. Take these out. I always throw these parts away, except for, yeah, that's too white. Okay, this... I just sometimes break these off, and then I can cut this down, cut it off rather, I should say. Same way with this one here, I do the same thing, and all I do is just cut it off. That's all you have to do. Now some of these I'm still going to have to cut down, so what I'm going to do, we're going to have to wash it off really good, but I'll tell you, I just got this celery, and I just bought this at Walmart. And believe this, I got this bag of celery for 50 cents. Not 50 cents a pound, just 50 cents. So I thought that was a real good deal. And this piece is too, can't use that one. All right. Unless you like them real white, you can do that. But we don't, so we like them on the green side. So anyway, let's go ahead and start cutting some of these off. I think that one will be okay. But what I'm going to do is if there's a bad spot, I'm going to cut it. But I think... We're going to cut these in half and make them smaller, okay, because they won't fit in the platter this size. So I'm going to take these, put them in the strainer so they can be washed. And then let me cut this end off. I'd cut them all at the same time, but they all got spots on them, you know, in different places. So um, I'm just going to do it this way right now, y'all. Okay, 
That's good. So I'm not going to put many of these, but I am going to cut them and get them cut up. So they'll go into a gallon bag um, and get them washed. Because there's not, you know, there's not that many. And then I'll pick out which ones I'm going to use once I get them all uh, cut up and stuff. But that's the easiest way to do celery is cut that big stalk off at the very end and they all just fall apart for you, as you see. And then I'm going to, let me cut this in two. Okay. All right. Just about done, y'all. Getting these bad ends cut off. This one here is kind of bad, and so, but some of this that's on there that just wiped right off. So I guess it's a little dirt. I don't know that's what it looks like, <laughs> but that's common. That's common with certain veggies. All right, one more to go, guys. <laughs> that was the wrong place to put that. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Sometimes I just don't know about myself, y'all. All right. There we go. So, we have got all this celery cut up now. And I'm going to go ahead and wash this off. And when I get it washed, I'll be back. And we'll go ahead and we'll um, start putting this in the platter. So, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, guys, I've washed the celery, and I did it piece by piece to make sure everything was off. Um, but what I'm going to do is take some paper towels, okay? And this needs to be dried also. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set this over here. I'm going to put these paper towels down on my cutting board, just like this. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to lay these. Let's turn it this way. And I'm just going to just start laying these down here and then kind of dive them off a little bit with uh, the paper towel. I better shake them out just a little bit because they do got to about some water. So what I'm going to do is I'll take another paper towel and I'll just kind of go over them. That way they get, um, I get a lot of that water out. I'll have to get me another Roll the paper towels, y'all. All right. And then I just take my paper towels and I just kind of do this to them. I kind of dry them off. Make sure they're not real wet. Okay. Let's see. I think that's probably good enough. Dry them off pretty good. Because we don't want them wet, wet. Some of these are not as ripe, but like this one, it's not as ripe as some of them, but it, it's fine. It's not too bad. This one's a little bit, yeah, I think it'll work. So as long as they're not too white. But I'm going to tell you, for 50 cents, you cannot beat that. I need to kind of trim this one off a little bit, y'all. All right. So, we've got them, I think, pretty good. I think they're dry enough because, see, I'm going to have to put some of these in a bag in. You know what? I don't know. Uh, I think a quart might do it instead of the gallon. But let's see how many we're going to put in the platter first. So, um, let me get my bowl back. Let's put them back in a bowl. And then... Um, I'll get the platter. Okay. And then we'll put them here. So let's see how I'm going to do this. I think, see, they're going to be kind of big. So maybe if I cut them down a little bit, um, just a little bit, I'm not going to cut off a whole lot of it, just a little bit, just to, um, so they'll fit in the platter a little better. And I could do them this way too, but I, th I think this might be the best way to do them. I don't. Man, now let's do it. Let's do them this way, guys. Let's just put them down in the platter like this. 
I think that would be better. They're actually a little too big, I'm thinking, so we might. And he doesn't want a big bunch of it, so I'm thinking that'll work right there. It doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be perfect, guys. All right, this one here needs to be trimmed just a little bit. There we go. Looks like we got it. And I think that um, I'll be okay. Let's see. Let's try one more piece to make it. Um, let's see. I've got three. I got six. So we'll just we'll put six pieces of celery in our platter. Got this in there, and it's looking really pretty. Um, I think, guys. But um, we'll set that to the side again, and let's put our celery in a bag. I just I try to do this because I really like to keep things fresher, and I know it does because I've done it too many times, and it's always stayed a lot fresher for me. And even taking the air out of it, like I showed you all a little earlier, that really does work. Sometimes now the air wants to try to come out of it, but I always I do it again and it seems to stay in okay. But let's put this one over here so if we can't get this one to lay down over here. And this I'm not gonna do that too because we got quite a bit in there. This is a smaller bag, so I'm just gonna squeeze the air out like this. Well, so many bags sometimes. Alright. There we go. Now it's sealed good, so those will stay fresh in the uh, quart size freeze bag. And I'm going to take these. We've got our cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, and celery. We've got it in the platter. Now next, what we're going to start working on is the meat and the cheese, and then our platter is finished. So give me just a minute, and I'll get that out, and we'll get that going. Here we go. I have got some Bridgeford summer sausage. And then we're going to open that, and I'm going to slice off a chunk of it, and then I'm going to slice it up, and we're going to put it in with the, um, in the platter, like I told you. But let me get it open first, and then I'll put it in the bag. More than likely, it's going to have to go in a gallon bag, but it seems like I can't ever get it open. So what I'm going to have to do, be very careful, get me a place, there we go, got me a place started <laughs> trying to get this thing open all right there we go we got what smells good now y'all i'm telling y'all i don't know if y'all like summer sausage but we had some from um we had gotten some from hickory farms and buddy that stuff was so good guys so we'll go about right here because we don't want a whole big bunch in it but we want some so we're going to start about here and we're just going to slice that off. Now, the rest of this, I'm going to have to put in a bag because we're not going to use that right now. And I want it to stay fresh. And I don't want to take the um, the outer, what do you call that? Uh, that outer layer off of it that's around the actual sausage because you have to take that off before you can eat it. So, I'm going to, since this has been cut, I'm going to put this in the refrigerator now. Um, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this in down here because we've got to get this, um, this stuff off of it, and this layer here that they always put around it, it needs to come off. So see there, it just peels right off. So make sure you take this off of there. This down the middle, I'm going to start down the middle. Okay, and then we're just going to start putting it into chunks. So, but I want, you know, I don't want it in small chunks. We want to get a, be able to put a toothpick in there. And then do the same thing to this one. I don't know, about an inch apart, I'm going to guess to say. That looks like to me. It's a good start. And then just take your halves and slice them down the middle. And that's all you do with this. But I'll tell you, I think this is pork and beef. I would much rather have beef, but I couldn't find any. 
so that's okay. Alrighty. So there is our summer sausage. And we're going to get it put on our platter. Alrighty, guys. Let's see. I think this might be a little too big. Nah, I think I'm going to leave it. So let's get the platter. And let's start putting this on there. So let's get our sausage on. Just put it on there, however you can get it. And then what I'm... We're going to have to put our cheese in here too, guys. So let's stack this kind of on top of each other. Um, we got to have a little place to put our cheese. So let's put a few pieces of this in here. I, I should have really counted them so I'd know how much cheese to put in. But that's alright because he may want cheese by itself anyway. There's a big piece. I've got to get all this in there that I've chopped up. Okay. There is our sausage. And I think I will cut that in half because it is kind of big. So we'll just make it that way because I don't want it to be huge like that because it makes it hard to lay it in here so okay guys we've got our summer sausage in there our cauliflower our broccoli our carrots and our celery doesn't that look good so now we're gonna get the cheese and we're gonna put it try to get it over here it may run over into this a little bit but that's okay so let me get the cheese and i'll be right back here in just a second okay y'all here we go with cheese so i'm using some pepper jack and I'm using the Vermont seriously sharp cheddar cheese this is white cheese as you can see What's up? I'm not gonna cut much of this um, pepper jack off so I'm just gonna cut since we're doing both I'm only going to cut maybe about right here, not even half, and the rest of it I'm going to put in a quart size freezer bag. I'm going to start chunking this up a little bit into square into chunks, just like we did the meat. But of course, the meat is bigger. Alrighty, now let's just take a piece, our piece like this, and just start chunking it up, cutting it in half. Okay, about to get this one done. See guys, it doesn't take too long. I mean, there is some prep, but that's okay. Alrighty. So let's bring this tray back over and let's go ahead and put our pepper jack that we've got. Let's put some of it on here. Now we're just going to have to put this on the best we can, guys. We're just going to have to kind of uh, put one on top of the other. And then when we get the other cheese, we'll just have to lay it on top more than likely. Because I don't have any more space. Oops. So we're going to just put it the best we can. So there's the pepper jack. Um on there with the meat and now we're going to go ahead and get into the uh, cheddar cheese white cheddar and I'm going to do the same thing with this as I did the pepper jack getting the way it kind of goes slants down or, <laughs> or something's laid on it heavy <laughs> so anyway um, let's go ahead and let's cut about the same amount of this as we did the um, the pepper jack. So I'm going to guess and say it was about that much. And do the same thing we did with everything else this evening. Put it in a bag or a freezer bag. And we're going to cut it up just like we did the pepper jack. I might not have got as much, I'm thinking, guys. A little bit smaller amount, I'm thinking. But let's go ahead and chunk this up. Just like we did the... 
Let's take our cheese, our uh, white cheddar. And I'm, you know what? I'm going to take some of this pepper jack up, guys. And I'm going to put some of the white down. Uh, we're just going to mix it. I think that would be a good way to do it. Just kind of mix it in. A little pepper jack, a little of the, the white cheddar. So, let's pull out a piece down here and down here. We're just going to just get it in there together. There we go. Boy, that worked perfect, guys. That really did. It worked perfect. This. Um, let me move my cutting board. I'm going to take his uh, our veggie tray. I'm going to put some dressing in here. But, but see how we're going to do this is um, our dressing, the ranch dressing, I don't buy the uh, dressing in like a little container because it's the same thing as this. It's buttermilk ranch. And this is dressing and this is for dips, as you can see that it says. I'll open this bottle up. Let's get it open here. And instead of us, I'm just, uh, we're going to have a dipping cup. So I think what's going to fit is, I don't know if I want to pour that directly down in there. Uh, this little bowl fits perfect, guys. Check that out. That fits perfect in there. So I'm going to put some ranch in here. I shook this up really good. And as you've seen, this little uh, bowl I have here, it fits perfect. All right, we're going to pour this in. And we can always put more in it, but that's all I'm going to put in. I'm not going to add any more because I think that's going to be enough. Let me wipe my bottle top off here. And that's going to be, I think, the perfect amount. And um, when we're done with it, all I do is I cover it with saran. Our veggie tray is done, and it looks really good. I'm happy with it. And um, this is something so easy to make, guys. It might take a little time, but it is so easy to make. And I hope you guys try this. You can always have it for a little snack if you're watching movies or whatnot, like I said earlier. Um, and you put whatever kind of dip that you and your family like in it, but we like the ranch. Um, so anyway, this is it. And look how pretty that turned out. It turned out so good. And I think it looks better than the ones in the store myself. And they're so expensive in the store. And I can make one not near. Anyway, that's it, guys. But I hope you've enjoyed this video of me making us a veggie tray with meat and two different kinds of cheese, which was um, pepper jack and the white cheddar. And um, until we get ready to eat this, I'm going to take some saran, and then I'll put the saran wrap over it. That way it stays fresh. So I may have to put a couple pieces, just, just for the simple fact that it may not cover the whole tray. So let me get this uh, cut off here. I can't stand to use the cutting part on my box. It drives me insane. I don't know if any of y'all that way. But I'm going to put this piece over and try to get it covered as much as I can. But I'm sure I'm going to have to run one this way. So let's just tuck that under there like that. And now, let me take another piece. We'll put it over that way. We'll cut that off. Alrighty, oops, this is a little shorter on this end. Alright, let me get that about right, guys. I think that'll do it right there. Alright, it's, it's cool. it'll last for a little while. So, anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you make one, send me a photo or a video or whatever you want to do. So anyway, listen, y'all please stay safe out there. And if you don't mind, to go to Cheryl Case Cooking Diaries, like, share, and follow. I would greatly appreciate it. 
you don't mind to go to my YouTube channel and like and subscribe there as well, I would appreciate it. So anyway, guys, stay safe, and I will chat with y'all later. Bye.